Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Uno Tech Byte. This time, we will look into how you can easily migrate your existing Uno platform applications from version 5 to version 6. So let's take a look. So here, I have opened uh, the migration docs, which are detailing all the steps that are needed for all the edge cases that you can encounter while upgrading. But uh, for, the very mo for the most applications, the upgrade path is super simple. So I have here a very simple Uno Platform application that is using Uno Platform 5.6, which you can see here. And I would like to update it to Uno Platform 6. So the first step is, of course, to update the Uno Platform extensions to the latest release. So I go to Uno Platform and search for the extension. And if it was outdated, I could update here and make sure that I have the latest version. That is a good thing, because when you do this, uh, the extension will automatically give you the idea that you can update. So you can see here, I have this nice notification here, which says that a new version of Uno SDK is available, and I can click this button to actually update and restart. So that's what I will do here. So I will click this and wait for Visual Studio to reload. And what you can see, what happened is uh, the version of Uno SDK automatically changed to the latest stable version of Uno SDK. So now I have uh, already the 6.0 version running on uh, in this application, which is great. And if I wanted to do it manually, I could actually do the same thing. I could write here, uh, the manu manually write the stable version number here and just restart Visual Studio to uh, make the changes take effect. So that is done. But as you can see, if I now build, uh, the application will not build, actually. So uh, there is a few errors that we need to change, uh, few things that we need to change to actually make sure that our application is properly building against Uno Platform 6.0. So the first thing, as you can see here, is that we are using an old version of Host Builder. So I can click here, uh, this error, and this takes us to the desktop folder and specifically to the program CS file. So in this file, the only thing I need to do is to change a Skia host builder to Uno platform host builder. And then using control dot, I will just add the using of uno.ui.hosting. And this will change my host builder so that it's updated to Uno platform 6.0. The second thing I can do is to change the use windows uh, statements to use bin32, which will switch us to the new bin32 backed backend, which no longer uses WPF, which makes your app much smaller and much more faster. So now this will make our desktop application buildable. So I will switch to desktop. We can actually test it live here. So if I run, uh, it succeeded. And you can see that the application is now running and says, hello, Uno platform. So we have done the, the desktop side of things. Now let's switch to some other platforms. So next up, we should do Android. Android, we can go here into main.android.cs file. You can see here in Solution Explorer under the Android folder. And there, the only change we have to do is to remove this configure universal image loader file and then uh, just this method and then remove that call from here as well. So now the application is very simple. There is just two constructors and there is also a using that I can remove here. Super simple and we're done. So this will allow us to build the Android side of things. Next, let's go to iOS. On iOS, uh, the changes are a bit bigger because we now switched from using the UI application main to actual Uno platform host builder. So what I will do is to do var host equals and Uno platform host builder dot create, and then basically use what uh, Copilot is suggesting here. Instead of use use UI kit, I have to use use Apple UI kit, and that creates our host. And now we just launch the host. So host.run, and that's it. So this change allows us to run uh, our application on iOS. 
And finally, let's do the change for WebAssembly. Uh, whereas, again, we have to switch to use the Uno platform uh, host builder. So I will delete this, make the method async task. I can actually remove this statement as well and do bar host equals Uno platform host builder dot create. And then basically what uh, compiler suggests here again. And I can just call await host run async. And that's it. Now the application will run on Uno Platform 6.0. So we have done all this, but if we now run the application, it will still not use the new Skia Sharp rendering pipeline. If we want to use Skia Sharp rendering on WebAssembly, Android, and iOS, we can go here into the CSPurge file and just add a new Uno feature, which is called Skia Renderer. And using this Uno feature, you can see that it automatically automatically triggered the NuGet restore. So now uh, the Android and iOS and WebAssembly side of things will use the new Skia Sharp rendering. So you can see here Uno UI runtime Skia Android, and you will see the same thing on iOS and WebAssembly as well. So now that we have done all these changes in a few seconds, actually, it was a quick uh, quick change and quick migration. If I rebuild the solution and run the application, for example, on WebAssembly, we should be able to see that now our application is using uh, the new Skia Sharp rendering. So let me just finish up the build. And we will run this, the application on WebAssembly to see how it runs with Skia Sharp. So let's switch to WebAssembly. And then we run the application. I definitely recommend you when you switch between Skia rendering and native rendering, basically by adding and removing this Uno feature uh, to always rebuild, because if you don't rebuild, it might be that the NuGet packages do not restore correctly, and you might have some old binary files that will prevent you from launching the application. So definitely, uh, when you remove or add Skia render, always rebuild first. But if I go now to the browser, you can see that this is our application running in the browser. And if I go to elements, you can see that this is a Uno canvas. So you can see that application is now running with Skia Sharp rendering without uh, me having to do any additional work, just adding the Skia renderer feature. And I can even switch to uh, the hot design uh, view and I can design out my application using hot design directly inside of my browser, which is pretty cool. So that was the migration to Uno Platform 6.0. If you need to get more guidance, you can always go to our docs where we have a dedicated site for migration to Uno Platform 6. And you can go through all those steps or see all those steps in action, specifically with all the code snippets. So you can just copy and paste them into your project and get your application running. All right. So thank you very much for joining this Tech Byte, and I will see you next time.